What's up, our maiden? You are watching the barn rebuild. On this episode, we've got the carpenters in. They're getting the roof up. We're going to have some time-lapse action. If you enjoy anything, remember to smash the like button.
How's it going? I think you might be able to tell, I haven't really done that much talking. Probably the last one and a lot of this one as well. Obviously, I, well, I haven't said anything this time. Reason being is because obviously we've just carried on. And if you've seen my previous ones, I said I haven't got planning permission. Obviously, if I don't get planning permission, you won't see any of this anyway. Anyway, I've got a little project, so I thought I'd talk you through and show you what's happening. So the roof is almost done and then there's this little bit here. Now this is the extension over here and then we're supposed to have an overhang just over here um, and it's meant to be cantilevered. The structure engineer has done a beam, I think it's like 195 by 47, two of them strapped together on that, on the outside wall. Um, but it doesn't really work with what we're doing and everything and um, you'll see uh, it's hard so because the rafters are so deep at the ends on the barges I've got a hundred mil because the roof build up above that is high and then we still end up with just over a two me 200 millimeter um, fascia I didn't really want to go any bigger than that The structure engineer like i'll cut that in exactly what it was i don't really want to do that i think it's rubbish and it gives us i don't want this big massive thing hanging off the side of the building and all that so i'm going to do a four by two or 100 mil it's worked out just over 100 mil obviously that won't necessarily be as strong so i've just bought this plate metal plate these are just over 100 mil. This is 100 mil. I cut these at about 105. I'm going to make a flitch plate. So basically, you sandwich this in between this. This is 10 mil flat bar, 100 mil wide. So I'm going to cut it down, drill holes, bolt it together, and then that will be stronger than the other one that the engineer designed. And then we'll strap it down, and then it will look better. It'll be all job done.
Okay, so I've now turned my flitch plate into a flitch beam. It's this F L I T C H. I've done 600 centers. I just need to paint it up now. I'm going to roll her out. Oh, I'm not going to get my spray um, HVLP out. It's just obviously a waste of time. I'll just roll it out with red oxide and then uh, it'll be ready to bolt together on Monday and then they can get it up there and obviously sort out everything from there. This is my own solution to the problem. So I'm pretty confident it's fine. The 600 centers on flitch beams you normally offset it and everything but bearing in mind I'm not a structural engineer I'm not an engineer I haven't even got a trade so don't take my word for it do your own research So everyone's going home. Uh, we had the bricklayers here today and they were finishing off like gables and stuff. Um, they will be back Monday. The carpenters will be back Monday and Tuesday as well. It's a little bit windy. I've got my lapel mic on. With a windsock, hopefully it's not too bad. If I jump up, I'll just show you. This is how that bit's done above the steel. Uh, the bricklayers were going to do it originally well that's what i thought was going to happen but they told me that they couldn't they couldn't do that uh, I walk all the way around so yeah just imagine so we've sunk all this money into this and technically i don't have any planning permission to actually build it oh jesus christ and obviously the planning officer, he's longing it out. You would have known the situation in the story um, before. But I've, I've got permission to build something exactly the same as this, but just built differently. It's weird. That looks nice, doesn't it? So yeah, around here, on top of the piers, I've got the brick, brick layers to just put some stuff on instead of uh, putting plinth bricks I was thinking about plinth bricks but it was like that originally um, just a bit of mortar on top so I thought I'd get the same done so I haven't done anything on the cart lodge whatsoever but I told the um, main contractor to carry on it's like we're too far in it to start really so it's just obviously more money it's like gambling Gambling, imagine being on like the bloody poker table and going all in on a pair of twos or something. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, hang on a minute, I should have done that. Oh, the planning officer, he could have issued a decision already. But obviously he wants to inflict the maximum amount of anxiety and pain, but it's just one of them things. I will see you next week hopefully with good news we'll finish everything off there later on just had a call from the architect we've got planning permission oh my oh my god <laughs> see you next week molded molded uh, I just bolted together my flitch beam it's sorted now it's 4.2 meter long and uh, we're only having a 900 millimeter hangover so um, it was originally supposed to be like 1.2 or something what I'll do it I'll, I'll show you the principle if it was cantilever it's supposed to be strapped to the other side obviously two bits of wood weren't going to weigh that much now I've put this metal plate in I weigh about 12 stone ish and a few pounds Bang on this end, it doesn't go anywhere. That's 900 across there. So it's going to cantilever itself just on weight alone. Then we're going to strap it 
and it's going to be held in by the other rafters as well so this would definitely work wouldn't it so the flitch beam went in yesterday uh, the carpenters they still got an extra day to do but it was raining all day today and it's spitting a bit now there it is i'll just show you it's all strapped in and then the fascia is basically 150 here so by the time it comes across here and then you box in this this the flitch beam is actually going to disappear because it's going to come up there this is around the back the soffit under here is 9mm um, external grade ply and it's routed into the back of this fascia as well and then the barge board is going to come down here like that. so when the carpet is back I'm going to give them a bit of a snagging lift because there's a couple of bits that I'm not happy with this one it's on the wonk so that's going to have to be redone this whole laddered end as well it slopes down like off the roof so because of the sheets that we're having I don't think that's good enough so you're going to have to push it up and pack it underneath and then there's a couple of rafters that are high or low I I said to him the other day what's your tolerance on this then and he was just like well I tried to get it as flat as possible because I knew what sheets you was getting on the roof I don't think he really done that they done it so quick but I obviously I'll give him a little bit of tolerance I'd like maybe like three or four mil I've already been round but there's some that that are like over that like there's one over the back it's like 12 mil so that means obviously lifting not having that am I that's where the Sussex rafter is if you've seen when I done the cart lodge at when I put the rafters in I got them bang on like you wouldn't believe because I knew what was coming afterwards because I was I'm doing it but when the carpenters come in you got individual trays they don't necessarily care about the next people but I think it will be okay the cross battens or counter battens on the roof in that'll be fine and I don't mind packing out a little bit of the inside if I need to or just planing it down it's not the end of the world is it and these diagonal bracings the structure engineer said to put them in I can't see any sense in them at all it's not a trust roof or anything the building inspector's just been around to check everything he can't see any sense in it he said you can question your structure engineer if you want because he's not fussed about them but uh, it's just an effort and then I'll just leave it and then it'll be a bit of a pain in the ass when I insulate it anyway I'm gonna leave it there if you haven't already give us a thumbs up appreciate the support hello to all my regular subscribers but if you're not already subscribed please do so hit the bell notification thanks for watching i'll see you later